Hey everybody, my name is Patrick and I own McDonald Timing. In this video, we are going to speed run through a creation of a track and field event from start to finish. Creation of the meet, bringing in all the entries and seeding everything up in under five minutes. And then I'm actually gonna show you how to do it in like under two minutes. I uh, know if this sounds familiar, it is because I have uh, a video on the channel already. In fact, it's one of the most popular videos, but it is a couple years old now and a few things have changed. And certainly I've got a better idea about how to speed through this process a little bit better. So uh, as again, this is going to be basically a speed run through creation of meat. I'm gonna talk you through everything that I do. Uh, this is gonna be a very standard high school event for us. And uh, yeah, should be good to go. So I'm going to go 5A West 2 because I've done this a couple times now because uh, I did my last one with my super clicky keyboard and it was not good. And we're going to score it and create going to do anything with the meat information. I don't need anything more here, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get entries through mile split. Now, this is effectively not any different than using direct athletics. And I'm going back in time so that I can make sure that I have plenty of entries for this event. Import. And everything's there, but nothing is set up. Uh, so I will go through. First of all, I will renumber everybody. Uh, that's just a habit, but it's also a best practice, especially if you're using advancer files. And then we'll go into batch operations and we'll set all events to youth because I want to see boys and girls and not men's women. And then we'll go slow to fast in the running. And what I'm doing here is making sure that all of everything is available and set in the right way so that I don't have to worry a whole lot about the position order and whatever. I'm just setting everything the way that I want it to be. Uh, but there's a few things that I need to do additionally. I need to go through and set these guys to waterfall and these have enough positions that it's not a problem. But here I want to change to waterfall and then also change the number of positions to 16. And then here, I'm gonna change these to 30 as well. And set all these to waterfall again. And then the same thing down here. So now basically everything is going to be set up the way that I effectively want it to be. So I don't have to waste a whole lot of time dealing with the seating tab. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead, configure my prompts to be none. I don't wanna see anything afterwards. I just wanna go ahead and seed select it up. And it's gonna run through here pretty quickly. And it's going to use the settings that I had set up previously in the events tab. The idea being is that all the information in mile split was correct and proper before I moved it to the next venue and then the next stage of everything. So the same thing will happen. I'm gonna make sure that everything is proper and I'm, I'm fully happy with how things look here before I go try to do the actual event. So now uh, I noticed a couple things and I want to do multiple flights of some of these events. Uh, the high jumps, the, the vertical events are all fine, but I wanna seed and I wanna break up some of these things into two flights. Got 10 and 10. They're nice round numbers. If there were a one with an odd number, I would go ahead and uh, put more in the fast, the better section basically. And now we're basically good to go. Uh, we can go to enter results. Oh yeah, uh, we need to edit sessions. So we're gonna add one called field. Then we'll add one called track. And the track I'm gonna have to do by memory. For the field, I don't really care uh, how the field session is set up personally. Um, I just go ahead add them all the way through. Now the track, I'm gonna to have to take a little bit of a guess, but I'm going to go girls and then boys for everything. I think 
it's this, and I think it's that, and I think it's this, and I think it's that. And three kernels, eight hundred. Okay, so that said, there is a much faster way to do it all. In fact, it's a way that I do almost all of our events. It's using a template. Uh, so what I've taken is a high school event, a typical high school event, and then I've purged all the information as far as the teams go, but I've kept the information as far as the events and the event settings. And that way I don't have to go through and change you know, the number of people in every section and the waterfall and everything. All I gotta do is create it using a template and then I'll be good to go. So let's try one more time. Okay, so, okay, so let's get going with Thunk. And we select the template that we want, and we name the file. And then all of our settings are already here and correct. We've got waterfalls for everything that we want. Uh, now we do need to come in and do the meet setup. And then uh, the date is locked within mile split. So you'll see I only have access to the meets in April. And all these are otherwise correct. And again, all the, the event settings are already taken care of. So we'll log in. We'll get the 5A West. Import the entries, import. Go back to seating, configure prompts. We want none. Unseated, seat select. One minute right now. And you can see we have the correct number of sections for the 32 and the, the mile. And we come down here and we have multiple sections for the field events that I want. Uh, we're basically done because we can come in here and we have the sessions already set up because of the, the templating file. So I'm going to say we're done. It's 1 minute 25. And again, we're ready to go ahead and send things over as far as to the, uh, the, the FAT system. And we can also set up our scoreboards and live results and everything is ready to basically go. Uh, now, I'm not going to do that here, but, uh, you know, good to go. But you come over to the event enter results tab. And again, everything is taken care of. We're all good. Hey, everybody. Sorry, I'm retuning the ending because I was having some audio sync issues. Probably noticed that at one point uh, and they got worse for this little phase. So I'm just redoing it and it'd be a lot easier and sound a little bit different, but better. Um, one thing I do want to say before kind of wrapping up is that templates are not only faster, they really are best practice. It's the best idea with MePro to go ahead and start a fresh database every single year. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, you can email us at support at directathletics.com. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing.